you're here. Wait, you're... Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting Grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right! Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the Bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. ...to persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Dvalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe in Outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? <sighs> I already told you not to call me sir. Never mind. Uh... Wow, um, this is really awkward. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo God's power. Uh... Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it! If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the Seven Nations. Finally, the liar is back in safe hands! Where did that guy go, though? He was here a second ago. Senora is going to end you! The songs Bard sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. Welcome back. Oh, this is the Holy Liar. You managed to retrieve it. The pattern of flowing wind carved on the rosewood, and the strings still feel cool to the touch, too. Ah, oh, the memories. What do you think, Venti? Can you summon Devalin? Hmm, although this liar is the real thing, I doubt that it's going to work. As you can see, the liar has been through a thousand years of history. Its animal power has run dry. In this condition, you couldn't play music fit for even Diluc's tavern with it. Bards fight to get on the stage of my tavern. Don't make assumptions. Is that really important right now, Master Diluc? And you! Did you just borrow the Holy Liar to play music for drunkards to hear? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> anyway, we won't be able to call Devalin with it. The Liar itself is fine, but the strings... You're up, Outlander. Relax, it's not broken. It's just that the intensity of its animal power has greatly diminished. 
Do you still have Devalin's teardrop crystal with you? Great! Try to use it on the Holy Liar! Beautiful glow. Praising yourself? Really? I was talking about the Holy Liar. Thanks to our traveler friend having purified the crystal, the Holy Liar won't continue to lose power. That said, its power is far from replenished. It'd be great if we could get more tears. I can surmise that Devalin will already be crying. Suffering alone in some deserted place. <sighs> Devalin. Poor baby. This is not something that an honorary knight can accomplish alone. I will mobilize the rest of the knights to assist. When you get the teardrop crystal, please let our honorary knight perform the purification process. Heroes supporting each other and setting out on a journey together. How exciting! Let me come up with a song for you! Is that all you're going to do? Just sing? Hmm, wouldn't be much of a bard if I didn't, now would I? Huh, <laughs> you're so cheeky. You deserve an ugly nickname. Oh, Paimon knows. From now on, you'll be known as Tone Deaf Bard. <sighs> We're done gathering. That was hard. It's too early to relax. We're still not done with Storm Terror. Besides, the Fatui could also be planning something. Woohoo! Devolin Protection Squad, assemble! Let's put our crystals together. Oh. The color of these crystals looks muddy. <sighs> Devalin, you're going through so much pain. Let's start purifying these crystals first. Please, Traveler. It is hard to believe such a thing is possible until you've seen it with your own eyes. Interesting. It's like filtering wine. The process is... refreshing. I think we should have enough tears now. So next we... Use the crystals on the Holy Liar like last time. It worked! It seems completely different from before. The Liar's Animo power seems fully restored! We should be able to use it now! It's all thanks to you. Now, where should we summon Storm Terror? It must be away from the city, else there will be casualties should we fail. Perhaps here at the winery? If the winery was destroyed, it's not something I couldn't eventually fix. But I'd still rather not go through the hassle. The wind that blows at sea or in high places should be able to carry a bard's words far away. It's never going to work if the air is too dry or suffocating. Paimon understands. Sea or high places, right? Then the best location to play the lyre would be... Even Amber would never think of doing such a thing. If you go east from Starfell Lake, there are mountains south of the beach. Oh, you mean that beach we were on when you told Paimon about your sister? If you head to where the cliff juts out, that place is known as Star Snatch Cliff. What do you think, Bard? Meets the requirements, no? Let me think. Star Snatch Cliff. Alright, let's do it there. Very well. Then let's meet at Star Snatch Cliff when we're ready. Please don't be late. <laughs> Yes, ma'am! Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to...